and uh, there are a couple of changes tonight. One is Joe Haig coming in for Josh Stokes. And the other one, we'll go through the positions in a minute, but Kean Harry's coming back into the side with Theo Widrington dropping to the bench. The teams are out, shots in their home strip of red and blue stripes. Red shorts and red socks, Maidenhead in their away kit of pale blue shirts, white shorts and very pale blue or sort of off-white socks. We'll get a better look at those in a minute. Two changes tonight, Van Stappen, Scherfing goal, Harry's Minogue and Rother. Centre-backs, Harfield and Aaron Jones, the wing-backs, Glover and Willard, who'd have thought that? Holding the centre of midfield, Joe Haig in the 10. 2,000, it may still be 17, 1,800, it's always so difficult to tell. Um, a healthy band of Maidenhead United supporters, it's a deft touch, and Haig goes to ground, almost wins it for the shots, but Maidenhead got it, back to Kinsella. Clips a lovely ball out to the far side where Nathaniel George takes it down off his shoulder according to the ref not his arm 1-2 with Reece Smith he's into the area pulls it back and it's in it's turned in at the far post and the ultimate spoilers Maidenhead United have got themselves a lead here in the 15th minute good work from Kinsella finding Nathaniel George and uh, Reece Smith Moving on to his pass, pulling the ball back from the byline and uh, ultimately it's turned into the goal by Chanka Zimba, the centre forward, playing up front for the Magpies tonight. 15 minutes gone, already shot down, Neil Maidenhead United 1. Ollie Harfield's going to take the corner, left footed in swing up, header down. Oh, header down from Minoga and uh, not quite sure what's been given there, another corner. Header was down from Minoga and an Aldershot Town player tried to steer it in at the far post and I just thought it was against the upright. Jones with the ball forward, it's cut out by Maidenhead and uh, here's Charlie Adams in the middle of the park. Shots fans if you want a good omen, Maiden, oh there's a ball straight through the middle, they're in one and one, two nil! The ball is stuck into the net and Maidenhead have gone bang bang here, not as quickly as Aldershot did on Saturday, but with 22 minutes gone, the league's ultimate spoilers are at it again. Aldershot Town nil, Maidenhead two, and uh, I think it might be uh, Zimba again, Steve. It looks like it, yeah, and it was, it was almost like the parting of the Red Sea. The Aldershot Town midfield was nowhere to be seen. And then the defence just parted and allowed Zimba, allowed the pass through, and then Zimba to run onto it. An excellent calm finish, you have to say, but all shut down, far too slack, far too open. Glover who sends it out to the right-hand side to Aaron Jones. His cross comes in. He's headed away by Clarima, only as far as Willard. Uh, Willard finds Harfield, Harfield back to Rowe. Rowe with the ball into Joe Haig, into the edge of the air, tries a shot, is swerving, parried away. Halifax 1, Hartlepool 0, and Boreham would have equalised at Dagenham. Corner comes in for the shots, underneath the bar, it's cleared from off the line, the linesman's flag gets over the line, and I don't have a clue who put it in, maybe Steve Gibbs does. He doesn't. The corner came in, bodies went up for it, I saw it cleared from off the line, or inevitably behind the line, and it's over it. Very quick and early signal from the assistant referee, that ball's over the line and 36 minutes in, it is Aldershot Town 1, Maidenhead United 2. Um, so if it is an open game like this, you might think over the course of 90 minutes that the shots might win it. Good ball down the line from Harfield to Joe Haig. Um, he's gone down a blind alley but he gives it back to Harfield, he drills it across and it's touched in again and again. And they got themselves level, in fact, two minutes, 36 of 38. All the shot town, two, Maidenhead United, two. two. Ball and misses it, and Maidenhead have still got it. Reece Smith on the edge of the penalty area. 
Azair's got it now, back to Adams, Aldershot regrouping. Cross into the far post, Aaron Jones gets a header on it, but he'll only head it to Nathaniel George. He's going up against him now, little trick, looks to get past him. Hangs in there, shot comes in, oh my word! Across the face of the goal, Van Stapershoff tries to get on it, can't get anything on it. It fizzes behind the goal, it looked like it went straight behind to me, but not to the referee, he's given a corner. Tell us that, uh, and apologies. I mean, it was the first goal that looked more confusing who had scored. We thought, me and Steve both thought Tolad had put that one in. We look forward to seeing it. Oh, Hadji Minogue's dispossessed. And Maidenhead going to again, maybe get in straight through the middle here. Zimba, is he going to get a hat-trick? Good block from Kian Harris. And it goes out for a throw. Zare forward to halfway, where it's, well, brilliantly dummied and then taken in his stride by Mitchell Lawson. But ha Harfield battles back brilliantly, and so does Lawson. He's got another shot in deflection on it and it's chested behind by Van Stapperschuf. What a battle between Mitchell Lawson and Harfield, Steve. Yeah, that's going to be one of the Corner. most exciting features of the second half, I think. And that one just about came out 50-50 and Van Stapperschuf, it looked like he was going to be able to make a relatively comfortable save, but the ball cannoned off his chest and now Maidenhead are able to Who will put the ball into the danger area. Who now go back to Van Stapperschuf. Sends it forward. It's well won in the air by Maidenhead and then well won in the air by Minoga, but he can only head it straight to Keach. Keach sends a ball out to the right-hand side and again Mitchell Lawson will get onto it and he's up against Harfield. Cross comes in, lovely sharp turn, shot is blocked, half cleared and then half cleared again and then cleared fully out to the right-hand side. It'll come back in from Mitchell Lawson and Van Stapperschuf will claim it and my goodness me, if they had heart monitors in this crowd, Steve, there'd be one or two <laughs> going through the roof right now. Bright movement, great work between Mitchell Lawson and Azair. Still got the ball, squared across now. Kinsella wants to get forward but can't. Charlie Adams with the ball out to the right-hand side. Mitchell Lawson sends it in. It's going to go to the far, but shot comes in. Oh, what a save from Jordi Van Stapperschuf. Ashley Nathaniel George onto the cross, struck it high, and a brilliant reaction save from Van Stapperschuf. Here's Harry's with Mitchell Lawson in hot pursuit, clears it down the line, it breaks nicely for shots to find Glover. Glover finds Frost, carries the ball forward across the halfway line, and does well to steer it out to the right hand side to Jones. Jones to Tolet, he's come back on his left foot, goal! Lauren Tolles, without question, has got the third goal for the shots in the 81st minute. Lovely ball, lovely work from Frost. And a brilliant finish when Tolles turned inside onto his left foot and curled it low. No chance for Craig Ross. 81 minutes gone from 2-0 down to 3-2 up. Uh, oh, great battling back by Tollard, now, and he feeds T Tetek. Tetek to Glover, pulls it back to Tetek, squares it. Will he get a shot away? Oh, it's cleared off the line. It was on target. Kwame Thomas stepped over it and a maidenhead foot cleared it off the line. It's ended easily nil, woke in one. Here the shots have won the ball back. Tetek to Tolaj to Frost, who's coming forward now. Barham into the penalty area, it's wide, drags it across. Tolaj! <laughs> Steve, pick up the commentary. Well, Tolaj, Tolaj, excellent cross, as calm as you like, slid across the six yard box from Jack Barham. You wouldn't have blamed him for having a shot, but no, I'm sorry, strike partner, Laurent Tolaj, in the six yard box for tap in, all shot town four, Maidenhead United two, somehow all shot town have made this game a comfortable victory. I don't know, here come Maidenhead again with Reese Smith, one on one against Frost, ball into the area, shot is wide from the number 19 on Milabu, the final whistle goes, and for the first time in 16 years, Aldershot Town come from two goals down to win a game of football, they've won it with a plum in the end.